Are you ready for a little Mexican? Welcome, I'm Rose Oatley, and today we're making some delicious shrimp fajitas. We're gonna start with about one and a half to two pounds of peeled and deveined jumbo shrimp. We'll be marinating our shrimp for just a few minutes, so let's start with two tablespoons of olive oil. Mix, making sure all the shrimp is coated in the oil. This will help the spices stick better. For spices, we'll start with salt and pepper to your taste. Now, I probably wouldn't add too much pepper because we will be adding some chili powder. Add one tablespoon of cumin. Now, if you're only making one pound of shrimp, then you can go with just one teaspoon of spices. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon of chili powder. And one teaspoon of oregano. Mix to combine everything together. I will be adding lime, but not until I cook it. Let's cover and set aside for now. For my veggies, I've got a medium onion. I'm gonna be cutting in strips and then just pulling them apart so they look just like this. Here, I'm de-seeding one whole red bell pepper, then cutting it into strips. Now, I'll be using a total of four different color peppers, but you can stick to two colors if you'd like. For my orange, yellow, and green, I'll only be using half of a pepper. You want to cut and dice the leafy part of one bush of cilantro. If you're making guacamole, be sure and reserve a little bit for later. Making fajitas on a cast iron skillet works really well, so if you have one, I recommend you use it. Starting at medium heat, add two tablespoons of oil and one tablespoon of unsalted butter. Once melted, add your onions. Now all your bell peppers. Let's go in with some salt and pepper to taste. Now add one teaspoon of minced garlic, and this is gonna be it for our spices because we're gonna be bringing in a lot of flavor when we add our shrimp. You wanna cook your veggies until they're nice and tender. You don't want them soft, you just want them to have a nice crunch to them. Once your veggies are sauteed, you wanna transfer them to another plate temporarily. I like to wipe my pan with a paper towel so that I don't burn any leftover garlic. Let's add three tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm going to raise my temp to medium high because I want a nice sizzle when I add my shrimp. We can lower and adjust our temp after as needed. I'm gonna spread out my shrimp. I wanna make sure that I don't overcrowd them. Add three teaspoons of minced garlic, which is three cloves of garlic. And the reason I don't like to add it to my butter when it's melting is because the pan gets really hot and I don't want to run the risk of burning my garlic. Now you want to cook your shrimp on each side for at least two minutes. Be careful that you don't overcook it because then it will taste rubbery and you don't want that. We're also going to be cooking it later with the veggies. So if it's slightly undercooked, don't worry about it. I think I'm gonna add about one more tablespoon of olive oil. Now let's add our bell peppers and onions. Mix and combine so all the flavors will marry. And oh my gosh, guys, this is smelling so good. I wish y'all could smell it. Mm -hmm. We are ready to add one whole lime squeezed. Give it a quick mix and remove from heat. I'm gonna start plating, but before we do, don't forget to check out my Spanish rice recipe and I'll post a link above. Here you have it, shrimp fajitas with some Spanish rice, beans, and guacamole. What a great combination. Please be sure to give this a thumbs up and help me out by sharing this link with your friends. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.